हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उटगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन रिंग काउंटर्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर्स एंड देयर एप्लीकेशन outline introduction to shift register types of shift register siso serial in serial out sipo piso pipo question answer ring counter references group of flip flops shift register in the previous discussion we discussed a uh, one bit memory cell that is a flip flop flip flop is a, a storage device used to store a one bit of information to increase the capacity of storing we can make a group of this flip flops so the circuit is called as a shift register shift register is implemented using flip flops and combination logic circuit number of flip flops required is equal to the number of bits in the binary world this sequential device loads the data present on its input and then moves or shifts it to its output once every clock cycle hence the name shift register it means that as i told you a shift register is a group of flip flops so the binary information binary bit can be shifted from one flip flop to another either from left towards right side or from right towards left side types of shift registers they are classified upon the way in which data are entered and data to be retrieved and they are serial in serial out siso serial in parallel out sipo parallel in serial out piso and last one parallel into parallel out pipo before going to the serial into serial serial in into serial out let us take example if we shift the data one bit towards left side the binary number will get multiplied by 2 and if we shift the data binary bit towards the right side the number will get divided by 2 so this is what the Uh, purpose of shifting the data either towards left side one bit left side or uh, number of bits on towards right side the first one serial into serial out the da data is shifted serially in and out of the register one bit at a time in either a left or right direction under clock control to shift four bits it requires four clock pulses so this is the circuit diagram for a 4 bit serial in serial out shift register if you look at this uh, uh, ffa where uh, uh, loading the data at the ffa input side called as serial data in okay the clock pulse is given simultaneously to all flip flop ffa ffb ffc and ffd output of first flip flop is given to the uh, as a input Uh, to uh, next flip flop so qa will be act as a d uh, db then qb is given to uh, dc then qc is given to dd as a input so data is retrieved at the uh, uh, ffd output qd this is serial out for example if you will want to load the data 0101 here 0101 i must uh, enter this one which is the lsb this one is the lsb the first uh, bit information to be loaded, loaded uh, while shifting from left to right side is the lsb so at the arrival of the clock uh, first clock pulse one will be loaded so here it will 1000 in the next clock pulse zero will be loaded so the, uh, qb will be one qa will be zero and these two qc qd will be zero 
at the arrival of third clock pulse this again FFA QA will be 1 QB 0 QC 1 0 at the arrival of the fourth clock pulse QA will be 0 QB will be 1 QC will be 0 and QD will be 1 hence at the end of the fourth clock pulse the information available will be QA 0 QB 1 QC 0 QD 1 it means that for serial in and serial out it requires four clock pulses this is a timing diagram serial into serial out SISO first clock pulse the first in bit information is loaded at the uh, in the second uh, clock pulse this one is shifted to the next uh, 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 flip-flop output this is the second uh, information second bit information this one third and this one is the fourth so at the end of the clock pulse the information available it will be uh, 0101 serial into parallel out the register is loaded with serial data one bit at a time with the stored data being available at the output in parallel form the output is taken simultaneously across individual outputs of all flip flops so here is the diagram here serial in means where uh, loading the data in the serial form which uh, which requires a four clock pulses and we are retrieving the data uh, simultaneously that is qa qb qc qd uh, the, uh, these outputs of all these four flip flops are available at a same instant but for loading the data in serial form, we must require four clock pulses. This serial into parallel out. So at the arrival of every clock pulse, this T1, T2, T3, T4, we are loading the data as 1011. This is the serial in input 1011. So at the arrival of the clock pulse, the data available at the QA, QB, QC, it be uh, 1011 parallel into serial out here again the input is the in pa parallel form the output is taken in the uh, serial manner so it's a really interesting diagram with a multicolor parallel in we are loading the data uh, the uh, ship that is shifting and the loading is decided by this uh, input shift load if it's a, if this signal is zero this load it will be become one so this one is given to uh, and gets b1 b2 b3 uh, it means that if this signal is zero b1 b2 b3 these three and gates are enabled these three and gates are having another input as uh, parallel inputs b1 b2 b3 it means that if this signal shift oblique load uh, bar if this is at zero we can load the data uh, in the parallel form okay uh, now look at this circuit it's a combinational circuit with two AND gates output of AND gates given to OR gate so uh, output of Q0 given to combinational circuit its output is given as D1 and similar for the remaining two if if it's a one if it's a one if this signal is equals to one this uh, A1 A1 A2 A3 AND gates are enabled uh, uh, in the uh, due to this data q0 is loaded to d1 similarly q1 is loaded to b2 and q2 is loaded to b3 in in other words uh, if shift is equal if this signal shift oblique load bar if it's a one the data can be shifted from left side towards right side from that is from ff0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 so this is what the serial uh, out parallel into parallel out parallel into parallel out the parallel data is loaded simultaneously into the register and transferred to a, together to their respective outputs by the same clock pulse. So it's a really interesting because the loading is done in parallel manner whereas uh, retrieving is also done in the parallel manner. Here these are the parallel inputs PD, PC, PB, PA. The P stands for parallel in so this is a, so in this manner we can give the inputs as PD, PC, PB, PA to 4 bit uh, PIPO flip flop. Again the clock is given simultaneously to all clock pulses. Okay. 
so at the arrival the first clock pulse the data is loaded uh, to ffa ffb ffc and ffd and at the same time the data is available at q uh, output of ffa ffb ffc ffd simultaneously it means that in parallel into parallel out uh, we need only one clock pulse to load the data and to retrieve the data so the time required for pipo is very less as compared to other three uh, uh, types exercise assignment what does it mean by parallel loading of a shift register options all flip flops are preset with data each flip flop is loaded with data one at a time parallel shifting of data none of the mention the answer is all flip flops are preset with data data is loaded simultaneously with the first clock pulse to all flip flops so this is the answer a ring counter uh the most useful application of the shift register is the ring counter this is basically a shift register shifting from left side towards right side there is some modification in the basic circuit diagram of the shift register in this this q0 output there is a last output of the last flip flop is given as a input to a first flip flop that means uh, q0 is connected uh, as a d0 uh, d uh this flip flop okay again the clock pulse connected is given simultaneously now look uh, carefully at the reset signal this reset signal is given as a reset signal to uh, this uh, one two and this three last three flip flops whereas this reset signal this is not a reset signal to this flip flop but it will be a set signal it means that when this signal is uh, activated one two and these three flip flops will use output as q2 q1 q0 as zero the only thing is since this signal is connected as to the set signal it means that uh, at the arrival of the clock pulse due to setting of this the q3 will become one it means that uh, while giving the signal reset uh, clock is given so output will be one zero 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 at the arrival of net clock pulse since this q3 is 1 so uh, qt will become 1 so the status will be 0100 next clock pulse it will be q3 0 q2 0 q1 1 q0 at the arrival of next clock pulse it will be q3 0 q2 0 q1 0 q0 1 it means that a ring counter is a type of counter composed of flip flops connected into a shift register the pulse is inducted by entering 0001 in the parallel form in the earlier circuit diagram we are using output q0 given as a d input in the feedback manner where we can uh, inject the pulse by entering data in the parallel form so this is what uh, a ring counter the injected pulse will go on uh, circulating this one this will go on uh, shifting towards left side this is what we explained in the earlier diagram so these are the references thank you